Dylan with Kylie Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage where we have the 2022 BMW S1000 RR up on the lift. And uh, well, it's ready for its very first modification. Now last week, I put a poll up on YouTube asking, what is the very first modification that we do? Now we had a couple choices, a windscreen, a gas cap, levers, Rizoma mirrors, a tidy tail, or do we do the radiator guards? And the general consensus was radiator guards are the very first thing you should put on your bike if you can. So today I'm gonna to walk you guys through a step-by-step -step video on how to remove uh, all your side fairings and how to get the radiator guards mounted and get the radiators protected. Now this bike has only seven dealer miles on it. We've not ridden this bike at all. We plan to be riding it this week, so the very first mod that we wanted to take care of was the radiator guards. So we have the Dicey 83 uh, radiator guards from Manny over at Moto Millions. So these will be in place here in the uh, oil cooler guard and the radiator guard. So uh, we are going to be working on each side of the bike. We're gonna be removing the lower portion of the fairing. Now, the uh, we've got the mineral gray color, so I'm not sure if the uh, all of them are this matte gray down here, but basically this lower fairing and this inside fairing is what we're going to be replacing, or excuse me, removing to add the radiator guards. So you're gonna need a, uh, a T20. I've got a wrench. I've also got a little screwdriver, a little screwdriver gun to remove all of the bolts. So let's go ahead and get the chesty cam on and let's go ahead and uh, get the side fairings removed. You're gonna probably be looking at about an hour to do this job. You don't necessarily need a lift, it makes it easier. Uh, you can do it on the side, uh, but um, you're gonna have to get the lower uh, uh, fairings off. So let's go ahead and get those off, inspect the mounting, get everything mounted back together. We should be in and out of here in about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the right side. Uh, so we're gonna have a couple bolts that we're gonna remove. So we're just gonna remove them with the screw gun. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go uh, one by one. So we're gonna go screw number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Down underneath, you're gonna have one more here, which I've already loosened. So you're gonna have number six there. So now we're loose, but now we've got the inner fairing here. So if you look at the inner fairing and you go to your brake from your upper fairing to your lower fairing, the lower fairing is going to have a screw right inside, which we can keep. But the upper fairing's got a screw, which we're going to go one, two, and then the two screws there. So we're going to take out a total of four screws and then the lower fairing and this inner fairing is all gonna come out as one piece. All right, so in addition to those two bolts and these two bolts, we are gonna have to remove these two because once we unclip this bottom, you'll see this V actually is one whole solid piece. So make sure you remove all six bolts to remove the side fairing, which then loosens the mid under fairing. Okay, once you have this last bolt out, you would then be able to remove the side fairing. So this is what we're looking for here. So once we've got this out, okay, we can go ahead and set this aside. And then you can see now we've exposed the, the side here. Uh, and you'll see this is the plastic inner liner, but you can see it's connected here. So uh, it's all loose here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the other side and loosen all the bolts over there. All right, now we're on the other side, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the five bolts here. So bolt number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Now onto the inside, remember bolt number one and two, and that will lower, that will bring our lower fairing down. So number one and number two. All right, and with that last bolt, removed you'll see we've got our uh, left side fairing we'll go ahead and set that back here and uh now we move into this inner and actually now that i'm starting to look at this 
it looks like we're actually not going to have to take the inner out because it looks like we'll be able to squeeze in there without it. It may be easier to take it out. So let's go ahead and take it out. We've got one, two, three, four more bolts, and then this inner plastic piece will come out. And once this inner plastic piece comes out, it'll give us better access. So let's go ahead and remove this with the next four bolts. All right, so now with all the bolts removed, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull this little plastic piece down past its lip. Just gotta get it finagled there. So there's a little lip here. So we'll get that pulled down. Oop. And this one pulled down. And this is what we're looking at removing. So this is just the inner plastic piece. So we're gonna go ahead and set this down here. I lost one little thing here, so make sure we got that. Put that back on, don't lose anything. So now we have a fully exposed radiator in the support. So the support that we're looking at is we're gonna be removing this screw and the other screw to bring this cooler loose and then we can slide everything in. So the radiator guards mounting, basically they slide in the top, up in the top bracket here. So you'll see up in the very top, right over here and over there, they're gonna slide in, but they secure here. And then the bottom piece actually just kind of clips on the radiator guard. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this bolt, which it looks like it's also gonna be a T20. So let's go ahead and remove this bolt and the other bolt. All right, now with those bolts removed, you'll see now we're loose, okay? The radiator, uh, the, um, the oil cooling is loose. And you'll see, this is what we're protecting against. You see, it's already in the seven miles, it's got just a few little chips where rocks kicked up where they test rode this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and take our oil cooler one first. Now they give you these little uh, um, styrofoam things, but you know, I mounted them around in different spots and this one's a really, really tight fit. Um, so if you add these anywhere on the oil cooler, at least the oil cooler side, uh, it doesn't really fit. So we're gonna slide this in. You can see it actually just slips right in. We're gonna have a little piece of duct tape just to tape this thing in place. And you'll see all the holes line up to where we need. And you can see this is actually a really nice clean fit. So um, I tried to put them on the bottom and it, and it was too tight. So we're gonna leave it right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and test fit this and see where we should put the foam on this one. All right, so now once we've got everything starting to be lined up, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our two radiators and our guard. And I noticed that this top one just is, just is a little bit out of bend. There we go. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and line everything up on both sides and then go ahead and start threading through our screw. All right, so once we're threaded up, we can go ahead and remove this duct tape and you'll see everything is nice and secure except for the top. Now up in the top, hopefully you guys can see this. There's two little holes and that's actually for the little zip ties. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this radiator guard up tight to those holes and then we're gonna put zip ties through the holes in order to hold the radiator together. So go ahead and zip tie those back in nice and tight, which then secures the rest of the radiator guard, which then we can uh, finish uh, screwing one and two in. All right, so now you guys should be able to see what I've done is I've wrapped that zip tie around both sides there. So you'll see this side's still loose. So I've gone around, around through the loop and then pulled tight. And with that said, now the radiator guard's nice and tight. So we'll get this all the way tight and then snip this loose or snip the extra. And that's it. So then we're gonna go to this side and now snip this and get this zip tied up here nice and tight. All right, so now both sides are done. You'll see it's actually nice and tight. You see this is where it was kind of loose down at the bottom. So I think those foams fit perfect right there. Um, I don't know, maybe they wanted you to put the whole things in there, but those three are uh, are perfectly fine. So now what you're gonna do is go ahead and tighten up number one and two, and uh, then you're ready to go back to your fairings. 
All right, so now you're ready to take your middle piece back in. Now remember, you've got about eight bolts, so we're gonna start at the top and you're gonna slide this back in. And once you get it slid all the way to the top, you'll get it clipped in up here. All right, so there's actually top pegs that actually go through where you zip tied through and actually they fit, so that's fine. So then what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this piece tucked under and under. All right, so we're tucked under here. So we'll go ahead and do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, one, two, and then move to our uh, lower fairings. All right, so with these eight bolts in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we can go ahead and move to our side fairing and get our side fairing mounted uh, on the left side here. Make sure you get the hoses tucked in to its little proper little uh, dimple there. But let's go ahead and start here on the left side and go ahead and get this mounted. Now, uh, the top mount here, you're gonna slide in between here and there's the bolt. So you're gonna slide that in first and then get your little hanger there and go ahead then line up your fairing and then go ahead and get all the bolts back in there. All right, so with this side buttoned up, all five bolts, one, two, three, four, five in, and then the two inners, and then this clips into everything, one and two, and then onto the other side. All right, and then the right side, again, five bolts, one, two, three, four, five, remember that inner links there, and then the inner bolt, one and two, don't forget to snap your little front here, which just snaps right together. And then the bottom bolt. And then there you have it. So let's go ahead and get an outro and uh, see how it looks. All right, well, there we have it. The Dicey 83 Radiator Guards all installed. Very, very nice. Uh, and this is basically gonna give you rock protection and bug protection from anything coming in. Now you'll see again um, where I put these pads in, it's quite raised off the radiator down here at the bottom, so that's fine, but it uh, looks really good. So make sure all your bolts are nice and secure all the way through. There's you know, the eight up on the top and then five on each side fairing and then four under the, under the under and then the one underneath. So basically, that's it, you're, you're looking at about an hour job, maybe 45 minutes, very easy job. It's actually really not that hard. Um, the, the most time consuming part, honestly, was taking the fairings off and getting them back on and finding the thread holes and everything like that. But um, there you go. The very first modification to our 2022 BMW S1000 double R and uh, I'm, I'm super excited. We've got more stuff. The whale dong's coming up uh, probably next. That was the next uh, um, most voted is the tidy tail. So we're gonna get the tidy tail on next. But uh, then we've got the windscreen, the levers, uh, the gas cap, and the Rizoma mirrors going on. So stay tuned. Uh, but thank you guys for sticking around. Do the normal, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and then ring that bell notification. The bell notification is gonna give you notification of future content and future build material to this. We've got a header and exhaust for this coming. Obviously we have to get the break-in miles on, but uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming for this thing. So stay tuned and thank you guys for sticking around and we'll see you next video. Bye guys.